don't know why we're getting feedback. Um, has it gotten any better? Oh my gosh, I probably lost everybody from that terrible noise. Better, worse, same. Okay, let me know if there's still feedback. Um, okay. So anyway, um, bearable, I wonder what it is, that's so weird. Um, okay. Uh, this is my art journal here, as I was saying. Um, just a fun and easy place to create in. And um, I pull from prompts each week randomly. I've got a set of prompts. I add to them every time I come up with a fun idea. And um, I pull several every week. If you um, register with me, um, and I don't require anybody to register, uh, but if you do register, you get um, the prompts a little early so you can gather up supplies. Uh, so this week, um, our prompts are add water, use bubble wrap, use something from outside, add dots, and use blue. And uh, I work with those in no particular order. Um, here are the cards that I pulled just to show you. But they are in fact cards um i put these aside because i always end up um blowing them away with my hair dryer when i'm blowing my artwork so uh here are my prompts and i am going to turn to a clean page in my journal um sometimes i work on a full spread today i think i'm just going to do a one page Spread here. Um, you would just register through my website at paintedcicada.com. Um, the uh, art journaling lessons are on there, and that just sends me an email saying that you're interested. And then the day of, I will send out an email with uh, the prompts and the link for convenience. But um, the art journaling is always here on my page, so you don't have to register. Um, it's just kind of a bonus if you do. Uh, then you will get the prompts early. So, um, I tell everybody, sorry, I'm kind of frazzled because of the feedback. <laughs> that made me worried. Okay, so, um, you guys can use whatever supplies you have on hand and you don't have to do exactly as I do. Um, I encourage you to make your piece your own. We're all gonna have different supplies and ideas and that's part of the fun of art journaling. Um, the theme is Lucky Stars, so I just encourage you to work with the theme. Uh, I've got the prompts here, add water, use bubble wrap, use something from outside, add dots, and use blue. So. Um, you can use these in any order. I always start by just creating a background. So that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm going to work with some, um, I've got these Liquitex acrylic inks. I don't use them nearly enough, so I'm just going to add some water to my page here and play with these acrylic inks. If you don't have acrylic inks but want to, um, make something similar, you can always just water down your acrylics. Uh, but one of my prompts is use blue, so I am just going to add some drops of blue here. And then um, maybe 
maybe just play with these a little bit, make some lines. This will be my add blue. Inks are really fun to play with, Luba. I love using inks. I've got the um, Liquitex brand, and then I also have some Dale Rowney. I've only got, I've got the Dale Rowney in neons, and I've got them in some pearls. Um, I actually prefer, I think. Uh, ink acrylic to regular traditional ac acrylic. I just like that it's thinner. Since we're doing Lucky Stars theme, I'm just going to use this ink to make some stars. Don't even need to put it on a brush. can use it right from this bottle. I'm just creating a background here. I'm not real worried about what it's looking like yet. Um, one of my prompts is add water, so I might just add water to some of these inks here. Let them spread out. One way that I like to add water too, and I didn't think about this. I have this um, spray bottle. So, so far, my prompts were use blue and add water. So, I'm just spraying water on here. Some of this will move around, I guess. Maybe some of it will stay put. I'm just playing. This is almost, these liquid acrylics are almost like uh, a more permanent watercolor. So. the things I really like about doing these um, art journaling lessons is that I really have no idea where they're going to end up. I just like to kind of play with it. I'm making a mess here, so I'm just going to put some plastic underneath my page. This is just a plastic Ziploc bag I cut up just so I don't make a giant mess on my journal. <clears throat> So, 
I want this to dry a little bit before I move on. Maybe I'll just tap over and lift some of this wetness. kind of a fun background to start with. I don't know. Sometimes you win some, you lose some. So we'll see where this one goes. Okay, so, so far I've done use blue and add water. Um, I don't want to move too quickly with my prompts. So, uh, let's see. I think what I might do is I've got a stencil here. I think I just got this from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm going to add some more stars and I'm just going to pull out some acrylic paint. I'm going to use this turquoise color. Since Lucky Stars is our theme and all, I'm just going to go for it. So I've got this stencil brush. I'm just going to get some paint on there. We offload it a little bit so it's not too wet. And then just tap in some of these stars. I like that. They kind of match. Um, I blend in a little bit, but they're, whew, my tap, it gives me an earthquake. So I think I have mastered the use of blue and the use of stars so far. Um, I'm going to try to think of what to do next here. One of my prompts was, ooh, I know what I'll do. Okay. One of my prompts that I pulled was use something from outside which that can be uh, kind of a pain in the neck because you have to run outside and get something. But um, since the weather here in Cincinnati has been uh, kind of nice lately, uh, I was able to find some fun stuff. So I picked a little daffodil and I think I'm gonna use just these delicate flowers, uh, the petals right here in the middle to maybe make some fun circles and then um, I've got some arborvitae trees and I pulled these off I thought they might make fun uh, some texture stamps so I'm gonna start with these uh, arborvitae leaves um, I've pulled I think the last time I pulled this prompt was probably in the fall and um, my viewers made some really fun uh, choices. Some people made like a little paintbrush out of grass. Um, some people decoupaged flowers right on their piece. So you can really get creative. Um, anything with leaves or petals you can use as a stamp. So right now, 
That's funny. I'm excited about the dots too, Shalene. I'm probably going to get out my daughters. Shalene um, is a friend of mine that does uh, mandala classes. She is the dotting queen. If you're still with me, feel free to put the name of, um, or the link to your Facebook page if you want. Um, maybe people can see some of the beautiful art you make in the classes that you have. So this is creating uh, kind of a just a fun uh, texture. It doesn't really look, making a mess of my hands, um, it doesn't really look like these leaves um, because it's just pulling up kind of the dots from the texture, which I like. Let me get a baby wipe and wipe off my hands and then I'll lift it up closer to the camera. So, um, it's just kind of making these fun uh, little, I know it's not uh, focused real well. There it goes. These fun little um, textury spaces on there. I like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Just adds a little more to the background. And then, um, so I've got this guy. And I think I'm going to dip these petals in some gold. Um, again, using the Liquitex acrylic ink. Uh, acrylic ink is basically just acrylic paint um, in a very uh, thin form. So, um, it's basically the equivalent of thinning down your acrylic paint with water, except um, you don't lose any transparency, which is what makes this so fun. Is that you don't lose any of that beautiful pigment. It's just diluted in the, the acrylic polymer. Alright, so I've got some of this ink in my little cup. The prompt I'm doing is use something from outside. So, um, I am using... The inside of this daffodil, I'm going to get some ink on there and just tap the circle shape around here. I am loving this gold. So pretty. Actually, by doing this, I'm not going to ruin the flowers, so I can probably just stick it right in a vase and keep it for a while. What have I done? Use blue, use something from outside. I've added water. I really need to come up with a focal point here. Um, Does anybody have any, any ideas or any inspiration? Ooh, I know what I might do. Okay. Um, so I've got this fun stamp, and since I have my stamp pad out, I'm going to stamp with this. Oh, well that's 
stamp's not what I thought it was. Okay, maybe not. Scratch that. What's the fun of working in a journal? Who knows what you're going to do? Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I've got a tree stencil. I'm going to add a tree. I'm just going to add a big black tree <laughs> um, over the top of this. For no reason other than I have it, I want to use it, I like it. So I am going to turn off my mic for a second. I'm just going to give this a dose of drying with my uh, hair dryer. So give me about 30 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm mostly dry. There might be some spots of that gold that are still not dry, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so I'm gonna add a tree stencil, a black tree right here in the middle. Um, this one's kind of large, so in order to keep her put, I'm just gonna put a little tape over some of this. And Hmm. I'm going to try just to get it with my gold stamper. This might not be the best idea, or it could be the best idea I've ever had. We'll see. It's going to go black uh, because I wanted it to be big and bold, but since I did the gold with the daffodil, I thought maybe this would be a better plan.
going to keep my fingers crossed and hope that turned out okay. Ooh, it did, it did. I like it. How fun. Okay. So I'll definitely have to clean my stencil off later, but I like how that turned out. Um, and since we are doing uh, Lucky Stars, I would like to um, stamp some stars in this tree. So I'm going to take a moment and see if I can't find a star stamp. I'm sure I have one. journaling is that I don't know where I'm going but the difficult thing about art journaling is that I don't know where I'm going sometimes I have to round up supplies give me just a second I'm going to see if I can find a star stamp a bunch. Okay. All right. So this is what I came up with. I've got a few different kinds. I gave so many of my stamps away because I just had so many stamps and I never used them. So, um, let's see. I'm going to use black. I don't want to use gold because then that gold will blend in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to add stars where my leaves would be. a few different kinds so I'm just going to go in here and add in my stars This did not look anything like I thought my page might turn out today when I was thinking lucky stars, but that is the fun of just getting your stuff out and playing. If anybody is journaling with me today, I'd love to hear the direction you guys are going.
Thanks, Gerilyn. I like to take credit for all the pretty things, but to be honest, it just happens. It's not really me. It's just the combination of the prompts, you know? That's why I love pulling these prompts. All right. And I think just to make this a little cohesive, what I'm going to do is... Um, Maybe you just add a little bit of black glaze down here at the bottom where the ground might be. So I'm just going to thin out some black paint and then give myself a little section of ground there and then in the spirit of my add water just kind of uh, pull that down stamp ink there is uh, liftable. It is water soluble so I have to be careful. need it to be perfect. I just want to create kind of a, a shadowed area down there. Uh, fun fact, so if you have, uh, if you're working with paper and your paper is curling up from the moisture, um, if you dry the back of your paper, it will flatten out. It's just from the unevenness of the moisture on one side compared to the other. So, so yeah, here's my little, my star tree. Um, I still need to add dots and, oops, I've made a mess here. Add dots and use bubble wrap. got some bubble wrap. I think what I'm going to do with the bubble wrap is go around the edges and just create kind of a, a stamped vignette around the edges. So actually this is just sometimes when I get packages in the mail I just keep the bubble, bubble portion so I can use it for crafting. Um, so I'm just going to stick this right in some black paint. And then I'm going to go right around my edges here. And just kind of create a sloppy stamped edge. Bubble wrap can be really pretty too for creating just light texture in your piece, which is usually what I do with it. So this is what I'm trying, uh, something just a little different. So that 
kind of framed out my my piece here. It's not perfect, it's kind of messy, but that's what I was going for. And now I need to incorporate a way to add dots. Um, I've got some dotting tools. I usually, um, I don't know, I don't use them a whole lot. But I think, I really like the simplicity of this. I think I might just add, um, add some dots up in that tree. Maybe brighten that up since my background is so warm. Maybe I will add some cool colors up in that tree. Or I'm sorry, I said that completely backwards. My background is cool colors. Maybe I should add some warmth up in that tree. Um, warm colors are like red and yellow, pink, vi um, magenta, orange. What colors do you think I should add in that tree? thinking maybe a really bright yellow yellow okay magenta let's see mm, it's not magenta all over the place. this up a little bit maybe add a little water to make it nice and thin This is kind of a metallic magenta. So I'm just going to add some dots to this tree. Um, I'm going to put them in sets of three. This will just add some color to this piece. It's very busy. But I think using these warm tones on top of the cool colors will make it stand out a little bit.
magenta in there. Gonna add some of this bright orange. This paint is thin enough, so. feels so quiet without having music on, but I don't want to have the music on if it gives feedback, so <laughs> sorry if you're listening to me breathe. That can be awkward. Same thing with that bright yellow, and then I'm going to go back to the magenta. No, yellow is chunky. Chunky paint is not good for dotting. going on with that yellow but it is not very friendly okay let's see if I can get this to work This piece is turning out kind of busy. I'm not sure that it's something I would consider um, you know, a good piece of artwork. I'm not sure I would ever take it out and frame it, but I definitely had fun making it, which is like priority number one when I'm art journaling is um, did I enjoy making it? And um, when I do these art journaling with prompts sessions, uh, the prompts really cause me to try new things out, experiment with new materials, do things I wouldn't normally do, and um, I did that. So it's a win for me. I've added some of those colors. I'm going to go back to the magenta, just add more because I want the magenta to be the focus.
Is it? We had, um, Geraldine says it's pouring rain in New York. Last night here in Cincinnati, we had really big storms and lots and lots of wind. We had a lot of wind damage in our neighborhood. Nothing to my house, thank goodness. And it looks like just, um, we had somebody's carport flip over. Um, one of the trailers up the road had like their underpinning ripped off. Lots of basketball hoops knocked over and that kind of thing. Um, somebody had a little, you know, one of those plastic swimming pools in their yard that they didn't put up and that's up in a tree. So lots of uh, people waking up to fun this morning. So I have gone through all my prompts add water, use blue, bubble wrap, something from outside, and add dots. Um, I think now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let the top dry. I think I'm gonna pull out a paint pen. Um, ooh, I wonder, I think I might have a metallic magenta that matches this, so that would be pretty if I can find it. Yay! I did find it. Alright, so I think I'm going to write stay rooted. Just thickening up those letters a little bit. There, so for the most part, I think I'm finished. Um, this bubble wrap border I like, but I think I'm going to make it just a little bit darker um, by adding some more ink. I just don't like to see that white coming through. But for the most part, I think this is it. I'm not really going to add anything else. fun little page in my journal um, you know like I said when I start these I don't really know where they're gonna go but they are always fun um, I love just playing which is really what art journaling is for me um, I'm not using a canvas I'm not using anything expensive so um, it's just a time where I get to get my stuff out and play and the prompts keep me on my toes. They have to, or they force me to have to um, think outside the box to make everything work together. So um, if you created with me, make sure you tag me, post your picture, um, or in, if you don't know how to tag, you can always join the Painted Cicada Artist Group and post your work there. Um, today is Friday, so uh, either today or tomorrow, I will put up a video for Freebie Friday uh, with a winner of um, something good. Can't give away details. Can't tell you what it is. It's a surprise. Um, so that'll be posted with the video. And um, I do art journaling at least once a month. So. Uh, if you want to join me again, check out the dates 
on my website at PaintedCicada.com. Um, I also have all my events listed on Facebook, so check them out. Lots of good stuff there. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Thanks, Gerilyn. I, I love doing this. I, it relaxes me, too. So you are very welcome. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend.